Buddy Jewell is one of the most down-to-earth country artists you'll find in the business. He's extremely talented and is very appreciative of his fans for his success. He has literally traveled the world, taking his music from Afghanistan to China and opening up to new fans the world over. Kelly Lynn sat down with Buddy at the Sound Kitchen to talk about his recent travels and his new music. I'm here today in the studio with Buddy Jewell and we are going to catch up. Your music has taken you all around the world. It has, especially this last year. I've been, oh my gosh, uh, China, Japan, Guatemala. Uh, just finished up a, a USO tour overseas with the, the Sergeant Major of the Army. We were in Afghanistan, Kuwait, Iraq. So. Wow, and you must have great stories. I'm sure the people there are just, how do they accept country music and, and what you do? Yeah, it's incredible just to see the the the, how big a reach uh, country music has around the world. You know, when we were in Japan, we were at uh, the Country Gold Festival. I was with uh, Clinton Gregory and Julie Roberts. And um, bus loads of um, uh, line dancers came in, you know, all dressed up like Dale Evans and Roy Rogers. And, <laughs> oh, great. And uh, this huge outdoor festival there in Kumamoto um, with, with Charlie Nagatani, who's a, a, a legend, a country legend in Japan and around the world. and. Uh, it, it was, it's just great to see, you know, how country music is received around the world. Everybody was just incredible. We were treated like kings, and I can't wait to go back. I need a little fried pork stick and can't go fishing. Pick up under the shade tree fixing. Nothing like some breeze and sweat to make it feel alive. We all know you got your start, and we all saw you around the country on TV with Nashville Star. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about how that journey's been. I mean, and like you said, it's taken you across the world and, and now you're selling records everywhere. It has, you know, that was, um, and I, I say this all the time, but I truly mean it. I'm, I'm forever grateful for Nashville Star. I, I'd have never had this opportunity, had that television show not come along. You know, I spent 10 years in Nashville trying to get a record deal, worked as a studio singer, uh, and was one of the more in-demand, you know, guy singers in town at one time. and. Uh, and that television show came along and, and just uh, at the right time for me, it was an incredible stepping stone. I walked away from there with uh, you know, thousands of fans all around the world and I still have people when I go to other countries that have somehow seen footage or, or saw that show uh, when I was on. And so I'm, I'm just amazed at the power of television and, and what it can do for somebody's career. So she's leaving Louisiana Time. Let's talk about your music because you're in the studio currently working on a project. I am. I, you know, my fans have been after me for several years to, to do an inspirational album, and, and uh, me being a Christian guy, it kind of translates pretty easy you know, for me to do that. So I started working last year on a project that uh, is titled I Surrender All. It's um, one of my all time favorite songs. Yeah, mine too. Well, I'm glad. See, I've sold a record already. Don't ask me to uh, sing it, but. <laughs> Um, but it's a, this is a combination of uh, you know, great uh, gospel hymns and things like that that I grew up with as a kid in, in church and uh, some things that I've written and, and also some incredible songs that I've found from, you know, from some writers around town here. So really looking forward to getting that finished up here soon. We, we kind of got a target date of May 1st of releasing it and uh, uh, hopefully it does really well. I'm really proud of it. Yeah, no kidding. Now, you're a great writer. I've come across some songs you've written, co-written. Did you write for this project? I did. There are, there are three songs on there that I, that I wrote or co-wrote, and, um, you know, I, and I think they're great songs. And, of course, you know, it's kind of like kids. You know, you love all your children. So right. It's, uh, it remains to be seen what the critics and, and everybody else thinks of them. But, yeah, I, I still try to write as much as I can, and, uh, you know, touring kind of steals a little bit of those creative juices, you know, away from you because you spend so much energy out there on the road trying to, you know, give people the best show that you can and, and spend time with folks behind the scenes as well. So it, it's good to get back to Nashville and, and rest up over the winter months and, uh, uh, and get back out and, and tour with some, some fresh material. So we, we've got a great schedule ahead of us uh, this year and, and it, it's growing, you know, every week. So uh, I'm, I'm one of the fortunate ones here. Well, thank you so much for catching up with us. And for all the Buddy Jewel fans out there, make sure you go to his website, keep up with him, catch a show. Mm -hmm. And we're going to all be ready for some new music. 
Well, that's, keep your eye on that. All the social media, and, you know, you, you know how to find me. Just be sure you put two L's on Jewel. And it's going to be I Surrender All. I Surrender All. I like it. I love it. Thank you so much, buddy. Good to see you. Thanks, Kel. Now it's time for our weekly songwriter tip, brought to you by Nashville Songwriters Association International. We sit down this week with Tim Buppert as he talks about song direction and good ideas. Don't waste your time on an idea that you're not sure is a good idea. If it's a, you know, if it's an average idea, no amount of rewriting, uh, sweat and blood is going to make it a great song. Uh, it's kind of the old lipstick on a pig theory, you know still going to be a pig in the end. Hey, check out NashvilleSongwriters.com for more information on NSAI. We're about out of town for today, but we do have those new discs from Craig Campbell up for grabs. To enter this week's drawing, you have to enter online at InsideMusicRow.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, too, for all the latest news and events here in town. We're going to leave you today with Family Man from Craig Campbell. Don't miss us next week when we bring you all the action from the Ram Red Carpet at the ACM Awards. Until next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon.